Land is scarce all over the world. Developers are looking for new approaches to build mega projects. That's what happened when Japan built one of its kind floating airports which is now on the verge of sinking. In today's video, we will take you on a tour of Japan's world-famous Kansai Airport and exactly what is causing the airport and tens of billions of dollars with it to sink. Now let's begin. <laughs> You might be wondering why someone would want to build an airport on the water when you can easily build it on Earth and that too with fewer resources and money. The concept of building such a vast island in a bay where the water is 18 meters deep with a 30 meter soft clay substrate beneath may appear extreme. However, in Japan, where land is limited and ridiculously expensive in many places, there is a long history of land reclamation. Reclaimed land, or umetatechi, is believed to make up about 0.5% of Japan's total land area. Some reclamation initiatives date back to the 12th century. However, the majority of land reclamation was completed after World War II. Approximately 80-90% to 90 of Japan's tidal flatland was reclaimed during the country's fast economic boom following World War II. The Kansai International Airport is located south of Osaka, Japan, on an artificial island in Osaka Bay. The airport is the gateway to the Kansai area in Western Japan, with over 31.9 million passengers in 2019. It is the main entry point into Japan's Kansai area. It is situated on a man-made island in Osaka Bay, approximately 40 kilometers south of the city center. The airport acts as a hub for Peach Airlines, Japan's first international low-cost carrier, as well as ANA and Japan Airlines. The Nankai Line station is right across the street from the terminal building and provides affordable, comfortable, and rapid access to Osaka and beyond. Unless your airline specifies otherwise, all flights, check-ins, and other services are conducted at Terminal 1. Terminal 1 features a variety of shopping and service options as well as cutting-edge airport lounges. The country's first intelligent security gates and accessible duty-free stores are located at Terminal 2 Buildings LLC Terminal, which opened in October 2012 and was expanded in January 2017. There are a lot of places where you can relax for a while, such as the Kix Airport Lounge on the third floor of the first terminal and Refresh Square on the second story of the Aero Plaza. They offer mattresses, TVs and Wi-Fi among other amenities. Use them however you'd like, as a spot to unwind in between transfers, as a hotel before an early trip or for whatever reason you require. Even if all you want to do is rest, Kansai Airport is a welcoming place with plenty to do. There are a variety of restaurants and souvenir shops as well as lodging and recreation areas in the terminal building and on the Aero Plaza. First Cabin is a small hotel that offers a nice stay at an affordable price. They cater to travelers at all hours of the day and offer a short stay option. Before their journey, guests can unwind in a big common bath and lounge. The main on-site hotel at Kansai Airport is Hotel Nikko Kansai Airport, which is within a 3-minute walk from both the passenger terminal building and the airport station. Icho Tepan Grill is one of the many eateries to try. Kansai International Airport is much more than just a venue to board and disembark from planes. Let's have a look at one of the airport's most interesting chambers, the Observation Hall from which you can get a great view of the grounds as well as the planes in the air. It takes around 6 minutes to get there. Just take the free shuttle bus from the first shuttle stop on the first terminal to the second terminal, second shuttle stop on the second terminal. The main hall and the entry hall are where the facility begins. The observation decks in the main hall and the entry hall provide a 360 degree view of the airport. Enjoy the sight of planes taking off and landing in the daytime against a backdrop of clear blue sky, or the beautiful airport lights at night. Furthermore, the main hall's fifth story offers a rooftop park with many fun activities for children. There's a play area with slides and other playground games, as well as a rest area where you may lay down and relax like at a picnic. The Sky Museum is located on the third floor of the main hall, where visitors can learn about planes and airports. 
There's a 30 meter, 1 to 72 scale model of the terminal building and tarmac, as well as a variety of airport work scenarios, a theater with a massive 200 inch screen and other exhibits. Check it out if you want to learn more about airports and airplanes. At Osaka's Kansai International Airport, there are three prayer rooms. Two of them are inside after the international flight checkpoints, while the third is on the third floor of Terminal 1, on the same floor as the stores and restaurants. The prayer rooms at Kansai International Airport in Osaka are not restricted to a single religion. People of all religions are welcome to utilize them. The prayer area is designed to accommodate people of all religious beliefs. For example, it has a separate ablution facility for Muslims. Male and female areas are segregated so that everyone can feel at ease and pray earnestly. These rooms, like all other public facilities in Japan, are extremely clean and well-maintained. As more international visitors flock to the country known for its cherry blossoms, Japan is making a concerted effort to welcome individuals of all origins and faiths. The Malaysian Halal Consultancy and Training Agency has recognized the dining area on the second floor of the first terminal building as Halal. Muslims can enjoy the restaurant's offerings without fear of being offended by pigs or alcohol. Because Chinese travelers like to drink hot water rather than cold, there are hot water servers on the first floor of the first terminal and elsewhere. Kansai International Airport offers a range of accommodations while respecting the habits and origins of various cultures. Tourists will be welcomed with new developments and improved services. Because of the significant growth in foreign tourists traveling from overseas, Kansai International Airport has determined to improve the quality of its services as soon as possible. The number of international airline passengers set a new high of 13.52 million, up 41% and now surpassing the number of Japanese tourists for the first time since the airport opened in 1994. With tourists arriving late at night or early in the morning, Kansai International is working to make the arrivals lounge more convenient for these passengers. More room will be made available for individuals who need to relax, and a 24-hour limousine bus service to Osaka will be started. There will be 200 more seats and a 550-meter square sleeping area, as well as an increase in the number of paid showers. There are many shops selling Japanese goods on the third floor of Kansai International Airport's initial terminal. It's the ideal opportunity to pick up any souvenirs you missed on your vacation to Japan. It has souvenirs from Kansai cities such as Osaka, Kyoto and Kobe. But it also carries products from as far away as Hokkaido and Okinawa. You'll undoubtedly find what you're looking for. There are also some things available only at Kansai International Airport, so check them out. Matcha sweets are a popular item among visitors from other countries. With that in mind, the souvenir shop, Applause on the third level, has a large selection of matcha souvenirs. The Ito Kyuemon Matcha Rangu Dosha Hagoromo is a matcha cookie sandwich with matcha chocolate in the middle, as well as the Sujirihe Honten Okoiguchi Green Tea, which is Kyoto Uji Matcha that may be consumed by simply dissolving it in water. Both items are highly recommended since they have the modest bitterness and delicate sweetness of Uji Matcha. In terms of facilities, the Kansai Airport is far ahead of expectations. It's also ahead of expectations in another aspect. It is falling into the ocean more quicker than expected. The gateway to Western Japan, spread out on an artificial island that cost $17 billion to develop, is settling 44 years ahead of time. Experts say that everything is under control, but their assurances aren't enough to quell rising worry and rage. Even though the airport's opening was delayed a year so that thousands of tons of more gravel could be pumped in to reinforce the structure after sinkage forecasts were updated in 1992, the airport had already sunk by that amount by last December. The worst areas of sinkage are in the island's center, where important airport facilities are housed. Five of the airport's 17 monitoring sites have surpassed or exceeded its 50-year sinking forecast, including the main terminal and a portion of the 3,850-yard runway. For example, the terminal is already 8 inches lower than it should be after 50 years. 
Hydraulic jacks used to raise columns to adjust the terminal building's tilt have already been installed. The most important section of the airport is at the basement of the terminal. And if water creeps in there, the entire airport ceases to function. The authorities are trying to save the airport in a number of ways, including the use of iron plates beneath the structure and a more grounded seawall. Officials say the sinking will likely be gradual and will not jeopardize the airport's long-term viability. Well, we hope they are right. That's all for today. We hope you have found the video fascinating. If so, then do not forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel for the more exciting content. Also, do tell us your views in the comment section and tell us if you have found the Kansai airport fascinating. Smash the bell icon for the more exciting content. Goodbye.